Hello again, everyone. Today I have a Blick art supply haul to show you. There's some specific categories here. I have the this new brand of acrylic paint that is matte uh, by a company called Flashy or Flash. I don't know if it's Flashy or Flash because <laughs> it's French. Um, but I got a few colors in that. And uh, while I was perusing the website, this was when there was some sort of sale. I, I can't remember what the sale was, but uh, when I was perusing the website, uh, I think maybe it was an acrylic sale. <laughs> that would make sense. Um, I saw that M. Graham has acrylic colors. I, I did not know that M. Graham made acrylics, so I picked a color out that I liked um, and didn't really have it in another brand, so I'm going to test that for you as well. And then I have a little selection of Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Dual Markers. And I'm pretty sure these are new uh, to the market. And we're just going to test these out. So basically the thing with these pit pens is that they are um, India ink inside. So once they dry, they're permanent. And that's always a nice thing to have. I use the smaller pit pens quite a bit. Uh, well, I guess they're just one-sided, <laughs> um, but I do use them quite a bit and they're really handy. So I just got a small selection. And now that I'm looking at these, I realize I probably should have gotten indigo because indigo is like the color I use all the time <laughs> in, in my smaller markers. But, but I did get a black and so you'll see that. So I'm going to do these a little bit differently today. I'm not going to be using any water because I'm I'm just not in a place where I can really do that today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread these acrylics with a palette knife, um, some semi-dirty palette knife. I think this has like matte medium or something on it still. But I'm going to I'm going to kind of scrape them down with a with a palette knife and then wipe it off with a paper towel, which I have off to the side here. So I'm actually going to start with the uh, M. Graham acrylic. And let me zoom in a little bit. For those of you that don't know, M. Graham does make some really nice watercolors. Um, they're maybe not, you know, everybody's number one watercolor, especially if you're going to be traveling with them, um, because they tend to not dry <laughs> in your palette, in your palette, because they have so much honey in them. Um, but there you go. So this is quinacridone violet and uh, it is just PV19. And for whatever reason, I found that this particular color seems to be more expensive these days. Uh, and this was actually pretty reasonable. And so I mean, meaning the PV19. So like I said, I'm just going to pull down. There we go and then wipe the palette knife off. Try not to contaminate <laughs> between colors, but that's really, really beautiful. Let me get to the side here so it's not with the glare. Um, so this I think is just normal acrylic, nothing, you know, nothing special about it. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what finish it has when it dries down. But um, so that's the M. Graham. And that was actually really nice and smooth when I was spreading that around. So I, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll try some additional colors, but I'll try using this in some art and see how that goes. All right. And now I'm going to get to the I'm just going to call them flashy because that's how they're spelled. It's probably a total butchering. But uh, these are relatively new on the market, I think. Uh, or at least I hadn't seen them till recently. And uh, they are matte. Uh, yeah, so it says extra fine, uh, matte, intense, multi supports, meaning you can put it on different kinds of surfaces. And is this the light fastness? This might be the light fastness here. And this would be the least light fast of the five that I have here. Um, and let's see, so I guess that's opaque maybe over here. And then this is probably uh, the tier as far as pricing goes. So this is the second tier and then all the rest ones that I have is the first. So let's see, so this has, oh, it also has PV19 in it. So this is PR12, PV19, and PW6. 
think pretty much all of these are a mix. Um, and I was kind of, you know, whoa, that's really coming out. Ooh, let's see if I can get that to go back in there. Um, and I was kind of on the fence about which colors to get just because, um, no, I'm not going to be able to put that back. Um, just because they are all the ones that I wanted were mixes and, you know, you can always mix your own acrylic, but, um, sometimes it's nice to have these convenience mixes and this in particular is really, really pretty. So what's the color on this? Uh, Rosa de Parma. Parma pink is what it says in the English. <laughs> so this is actually going to be a pretty thick application of this just because I had so much here on the paper because, you know, my pressure here in Colorado clearly was pushing that out. I have some extra and I, I actually have some scrap paper off to the side here. Um... So I am going to wipe that off on the scrap paper, which I'm doing off camera, so you're not really going to see that. But I do like to use all of my paint um, and scrap papers with, you know, paint rubbed on it can actually be pretty useful when you're doing collage or something like that. All right, so let's try and see if we can get less paint on the others. I'm just going to go in the order they're on my desk here. So this next one is a blue. It is uh, blue ash, and the colors in here are PW6, PBK11, uh, PB15, colon, zero. So let's see, try and get that really quickly. It does. They all do seem to be kind of like coming out of the tube really quickly. So let's just do that. And so far, this is actually a really nice color combo with these things here. Okay, wipe that off. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try these. They did have a really good range of mixed neutral colors, which I've been liking lately. And again, you're getting a little bit of glare, but um, this one is already almost dry. Acrylic paint dries really fast. Okay. And then I have this green here, which is uh, still the green green, and it is PY129. So it's essentially a green gold is what this one is. So let's see if we can get that there. And beautiful. Yeah, I, when I was looking through my stuff, I was like, I, I have to have tons of green gold in my acrylics and actually I don't <laughs> I have tons of green gold in watercolor but not in acrylics so hopefully this will be a useful addition and the next one here is a pink another pink and this is Venetian pink uh, pigments are PW6 and PR101 and that one doesn't look like it's coming out too fast, so that's good. I'm just going to put a little bit there. So we're going to have different different degrees of <laughs> drawdown on these colors because of the amount that came out. And then the last color I have is a really intense orange. It is Sahara Yellow, and it is PY65. So let's go ahead and see how that one goes. Whoa, these, God, these tubes, they're just like, they want to come out. <laughs> They've actually been sitting in my office for quite a while too. I got these uh, a while ago and things have just been crazy in my life. So I haven't had a chance to test them. All right, now that is a really beautiful array of colors because I got so much of this one. Again, I am going to wipe it off on some scrap paper so that I have some color and don't waste any paint. Okay, wipe that off. And so that's that's the flashy paints. This is the M. Graham. And then I'm gonna go to these pit pens and we'll see how they do. Okay, let me move those around a little bit. So I'm going to start with the lightest one here. And so basically the deal 
the deal with these dual markers is that they have a fine tip, which is 0.8 millimeters on one side, and then there is a brush tip on the other side. So I'm gonna do the fine tip first. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see that while it's going on. And this looks a little darker in person, I think, but um, really nice there. And uh, this color, color is this? Beige Red 132. And there's the brush pen. So that's a really nice neutral there. And then I have Coral. And that is 131. Yep, 131. Hmm, it's interesting. I must have gotten two. They were right next to each other. <laughs> that other one was 132. Uh, this is gorgeous. I really love this in the uh, fine liner here. Uh, the Faber Castell does make fine liners with these um, with the the pigments, the um, India ink pigments. So uh, so you could get them in fine liners. I think the fine liners are a little bit thinner. And I think what's really kind of interesting, so this was lighter in the fine liner side and darker on the brush side. This was darker on the fine liner side and lighter on the brush side. So it's kind of the opposite. All right, and then this one is Indian Red, 192. And that is also really, really beautiful. And then the brush tip side, lovely, do love a good Indian red. And then I have chromium green opaque, 174. Oh my god, these are great. I might have to get some more of these. Um, I don't think I've seen another permanent pen that had you know these tip options so that's definitely a good option and then finally I got black because you know you can you can always use a good black pen oh and it's super deep that's really nice okay and then oh really nice and dark on the brush side perfect um, so like I said, I'm probably going to need to get an indigo in these as well. I think they're going to be really, really useful because you have your fine tip, obviously, for more more finer detail, and then you have the brush tip for, for bigger spaces. All right. And actually, let me... Looks like that was pooling over there a little bit. Okay. All right, so we have the quinacridone violet acrylic paint in amgram, and then we have the uh, parma pink from Flashy. We have the ash blue or blue ash, and then we have the still de grain green, which is essentially a, a yellow green or green yellow, and then we have the Venetian pink here, which is a lovely shade of pink. I, they have a they do actually have quite a few pinks in their range so I kind of wanted things that were uh, very different from each other because they had a bunch of things like in this lighter area and they also had some darker ones so I'm really happy with my choice of these two pinks because the Venetian pink is is basically I, I would consider this my perfect shade of pink really it's it's a great shade and this one's kind of nice for a little bit of a punchier pink this is the Parma pink and then finally, I have the Sahara Yellow, which is a pretty bright yellow. Um, so that one's going to be nice to punch things up as well. And then I have the Beige Red Pit Pen, or Pit Dual Marker. That's what all these are. And then this one is Coral. This one is India Red. This one is Chromium Green Opaque. And then this last one is, of course, black. So um, I would recommend any and all of these, actually. So it, I think for the most part, these are dry. There might be some little areas that are wet, but this definitely 
Yeah, I think that's completely dry. So this definitely has some gloss to it, um, which, which is pretty typical for, for normal acrylic paint. Uh, I have been gravitating more toward, towards the matte surface texture. So these are all matte, obviously, and they're pretty much dry for the most part. So you're gonna get a pretty good representation. Um, they do dry down a little bit. I think these dry down darker, whereas uh, like watercolor will dry lighter. I'm pretty sure acrylic uh, dries a little darker. Pretty sure. I mean, that's what it seems to be. So there we are. This is a great selection of colors and I can't wait to start using them in some projects. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.